Hello, um, in this lesson we will uh, take a look at uh, in-app browser. In-app browser helps us to open uh, URLs uh, in our uh, Ionic apps. So this is the documentation. You can take a look at it uh, on the Ionic framework uh, uh, native website. Mm. So let's get started. But one thing to note is that uh, the in-app browser is supported on uh, many platforms like Android, iOS, uh, Windows Phone, Firefox OS, and others. So let's get started. So first of all, let's Ionic code over. Let's add the plugin. Ionic code over. Plugin. Add code over. Plugin in app browser. This will add our, uh, the in app browser uh, plugin to our app. Next, we will add the Ionic native uh, wrapper, uh, which will be added through npm. So, npm install. Um, let's save it. Then, let's uh, add so Ionic native slash in app browser they should add the ionic native wrapper to it yeah so to use it we have to import it inside our uh, module app module and add it to our providers down here before we can uh, use it so let's do that so ionic native um, in up browser in our browser then we can add it to our providers and that is it now let's go into our home page class and uh, import it here too All right, so import statement and a native uh, in up browser in up browser we will have to inject it so let's uh, inject it in up browser we made a private one yeah that's it now let's add some uh, properties url there's going to be a string which which is what we will pass to our browser so it's load um, all right now let's go to our home uh, comp uh, ui home page ui and let's add a couple of things so um, ion item and inside this item we're going to put an ion input where the user will pass the, in the URL so in here um, it's going to be type of text sorry then uh, the ng model Sorry, let's make a URL since it's a browser. So, and then uh, the engine model will be to URL which was uh, inputted here or written down there. Um, so now that we have uh, uh, input, let's add a label. So, I am. And in the label, the will make it floating. Uh, let's type URL here, yeah, and that's it. Now let's add a button which will, when we click, will um, open the URL that will be inputted here. So button 
and let's add ion button to make it an ionic button let's make it a full one and uh, open web page as an instruction to the user and let's put a click event here click now we want to add a function that will be implemented in their home class later so the function will be open URL or what, let's say web page and we're going to pass in the URL uh, that will be inputted here so let's go in here and implement that so it's going to accept a URL which will be a string then in here let's uh, let's let's take a look at our in our browser so let's let's create a constant here called browser and we're going to create uh, an, uh, uh, an in-app browser so in-app sorry this dot in a browser dot create and in here it accepts uh, a couple of um, arguments like the URL that you want to open and the target where I want to open it when I want to open it in the Cordova web view in uh, uh, the device the systems or the device uh, uh, um, browser so so there are three of them but let's first put our URL here and then the target um, is going to be a strip. let's take a look at the the uh, documentation on that so the target here tells us that the target in which to load the URL the optional parameter here is self which is the um, the end up browser the uh, the web view that we are opening uh, that we are we are viewing the app in yeah. uh, so code about code of our web view so let, let's um, let's make it self uh, let's do it that way to test it out then the last one is uh, in a browser option so let's import uh, in a browser options and let's create uh, an option here uh, going to be a constant which is uh, time in up browser options and in here there are a couple of uh, Options we can pass um, clearing of catch whether it should be hidden whether it should be full screen location toolbar zoom in and a whole other let's look at the zoom and uh, in the documentation uh, we are told that the zoom yeah the zoom which works only on Android is set my set to yes will show Android browser zoom controls set to no it will hide them by default is yes so we, we want to hide it uh, so let's put in no now let's pass the options to our um, browser let's take a look at the other ones and let's see whether we can do something and uh, something else um, since I'm going to use uh, Android let's see one that will uh, work in Android so um, the yeah the hardware back it says it's set to yes to use the hardware back button to navigate backwards through in our browser's history if there is no previous page the inner browser will close the default is yes so you must set it to no if you want the back button to simply close 
the in-app browser so let's set the hardware back button to to no uh, so so hardware back also no that's it yeah now that we've created our browser when we create a browser um, it returns an in-app browser object yeah and uh, this object has uh, some uh, functions on it so we can close it we can execute some scripts we can hide it in sense of CSS and we can listen to some event using the on and we can show it so let's show it all right so that is it now let's run our app so I'm going to call it over, run Android, let's see what we get. Okay, so here we have it. So um, uh, the app is uh, asking whether we have permission to open files because we are using the in-app browser. So we allow it. Now let's uh, type something in here. Let's use the uh, Ionic Framework uh, website, ionicframework.com. Let's. Okay, Ionic Framework.com. Okay, so it opened for us. Is it and we can uh, do all what we want to do in a regular browser not all but uh, view the pages we can um, click and go to other portions of the of the site so that is it that is how to use the in our browser plugin to open URLs in Ionic